Okay, I'm not sure how many of you guys are aware of this secret technique I'm about to show you. Okay, but if you go to the Gate of Chaos, some of you might actually know this, alright? Some of you might not. Depending. Okay, so when you go to any of the Gate Chaos stages, we can put 3 stars, 4 stars, 5 stars, legend legendaries, right? And then there are those units, those fodder units, that we call the Silver Star, right? So these units. So notice I have all of these. I still have plenty here, right? But notice all of these, they are marked out because I already used them twice. I'm not sure, is it because uh, I put them in Mystic Island or something? But I'm going to show you guys. If I go to Mystic Island, right? I collect them. I rank them up. Okay, so now if I go to Gate of Chaos, same thing, I haven't done anything, okay? So except for ranking up my, my units, those fodders in the Mystic Island. And if you look at it, those that got ranked up, alright? Uh, they are still there, but when I use normal scrolls to pull new units, right, the usage get back to 2. So I think it's a trick that you can take advantage of. Like if you those units are used for rank up, and then you pull for new units using the normal scroll, the mercenary seems to reset back to 2. I remember using the zombie and this guy. So yeah, that's something to, to think about. Hey, what is up guys? Gitarok here, welcome back to another Brave 9 video. Alright, let's proceed with the chapter 2, alright, of this Gate of Chaos stages. Okay, so before we proceed, same thing, we're going to use Mora again. So grab your Mora, probably that you already used her up. So just reset her again. So we're going to use the same thing for this stage. Alright, this is relatively easy. So now we have this new Spartan guy, alright. This Spartan guy is going to be annoying. So why is he annoying? He doesn't have debuff immunity, but he ha he does have attack interference immunity and stats weakening. So this guy is like a Cecilia, alright? He can AoE absorb you, so you cannot try to bypass him by using long ranges. And one more thing, he's quite tanky as well, 80% defense. So I'm going to teach you guys a method on how to deal with him. Okay, so you're going to need 4 units right here, okay? So we're going to use Bora to tank, as always. So we're going to use a Fodder in front, okay? So I would recommend using Hyun Wall, okay? Use your weaker supporter, uh, something like Hyun Wall, and then we can bring in... You have a couple of options, okay? So you could use Aizen. Now why Aizen? Like I mentioned, these guys are very annoying, okay? 80% defense, Mora is going to stuck on him for very long. So to be safe, if you can use something like Aizen to take care of him first, so Mora can proceed and take care of everyone else. So that's going to be highly recommended. Or you can do some use something like Xenon, okay? That is also an option. So Xenon maybe doesn't need buffs, but if you use Aizen, uh, I feel more secure if you have something like a Hyun Wall buffing an Aizen. Alright, so turn order, mention Mora as first, and then Hyun Wall buffing Aizen later. Okay, so let's go. I look, Mora is not doing any damage to that guy at all. Too tanky. That guy is too tanky. The Spartan guy. So Aizen can help fasten the process for you. Or else you... My concern is it will carry on to round 15 or so. Which can be quite risky. So let's see if I can show my runes on Aizen. So I have two assault runes. So mine is plus 14. You don't need extremely good runes on her, alright? But make sure that you have preferably assault, I think. You can go Fatal Rage if you want. I think Aizen can crit as well uh, with Hyun Wall. It's mostly to get rid of the Spartan guys. Like I mentioned, if you don't do this fast, your Mora is going to stuck in the first guy till now, probably. If your Mora is alone. Okay, so next stage, same concept, alright? So I think everything should be the same, you don't have to change anything. Okay, so now all of the usage has been used up. Fortunately for the next one, we don't need to use the same units, okay? So this one is going to be a little bit different. So now you have this Baba Yaga, which you have to get rid of as soon as you can, okay? So the priority is to take care of them first. 
and then you worry about everyone else later on so again if you have mora all right it's going to make your life a lot easier for the bottom lane and then for the top lane all right this is where you want to tank preferably uh right let me just show you guys my recommended suggestions right here i would highly suggest to grab mora again reset just mora okay aizen you don't really need her anymore for the time being so for now the bottom lane you're gonna tank with one fodder doesn't matter who okay so instead of using aizen okay so if you guys didn't use aizen earlier you use xenon earlier then you have to use aizen now with hyun wall but xenon works right here okay if you don't have xenon right you have to revive back your you don't have to revive your hyun wall you can use aizen revive your aizen we're gonna use seras this time around okay highly recommend using seras now again if you don't have seras for whatever reason i guess Fasia works all right now this one is a little bit overkill we are using quite a number of warriors here but it's for good reasons so the objective here is you want Yunrang to kill these two and then you want one more unit right behind Yunrang to basically uh, kill this one so you could use Lito that's an option or you could use Naja if you have a Naja you can use Naja or if you, or if you want Feel free to use Hanya as well. That works. You know what? Actually, you don't really need a, a Seras even. You don't really need a supporter. Yeah, you don't really need a supporter actually. They should be strong enough. Lito and if you use Lito and Yunrang, it should be strong enough. If you are using Naja, maybe you need a supporter. A three-star supporter works like Hyunwoo and Arines. Hold up! Hold up! Okay, so this is one of the few chapters that I actually made a mistake. So luckily, yeah. Future Guitar Rock here again telling you guys that I made a mistake. All right, you're about to see mistakes. Uh, basically, what you should need to do is third order. Yunrang first, Lito second, Mora third. All right, and then the rest four, five, six. Okay, so make sure Yunrang first, Lito must be second. Okay, you want to get rid of these three as fast as you can. All right, I'll explain it later. Let's move forward. Oh, and maybe you want to bring three folders as opposed to two. Bring one more folder put here. Okay, so the method should work. Oh no, I messed up. Okay, completely forgotten about the debuff. So what happens right there, okay, for those of you who are not aware. So these guys, they deal to Mora because of the debuff from this uh, Bio B Hornet. Because they have this thing. I totally forgot. I needed to place one more fodder. So again, I'm going to remind you guys again. You need one more fodder. Or you could go one, two, three. Alright, you have to go Yunrang first and Lito afterwards. You have to get rid of her as fast as you can. Three of them have to be the first one to die. And place one more folder, just to be safe. Alright, so you have to do something like this. Okay, make sure to use this strat, or else you have to go through twice like I do. Okay, let's go up. Alright, resettle this path first. The outskirts is slightly easier. Okay, so again, you have this guy alone. Okay, this guy is super annoying, like I mentioned earlier. Even if he has very low HP, right? Uh, only 2000 HP, but he has 80% defense and 100% agility. So believe it or not, a lot of 3 star and 4 star, even Yun Rang, alright? Unless you are willing to buff your Yun with Veronia, which I don't recommend doing, can still struggle to get rid of him, okay? So, which is why the easiest, fastest method is just to use your charcoal. Uh, you will not have any other usage for charcoal later on, okay? You can use Zakan. You can use Qwik if you want to, but I think chapter 1, I think we used Qwik already. So I'm not sure if you still have uh, the two usage right there or you have to revive your Qwik. But Chalkal, two assault runes, works well. Don't put him alone, alright? Place one more folder somewhere, just so that it can secure the, the win for you. Okay, so any of the folders, something like that. Okay, next one, three frogs. This is quite annoying, but this is where... In chapter 1, we use something like Kellen to get rid of them. Okay, so if you still have Kellen, that could be good. But most likely, all of you, if you follow my strat, you might not have Kellen anymore. Would highly recommend going for Deka. Alright, Deka is going to be significantly 
better and stronger. So, uh, these frogs hit really hard. Okay, so we're gonna place our units three fodders. Okay, so I'm gonna be super safe. I'm gonna be super safe. One, all right, each of them will kill one. And I will place a defender, okay, a good defender, something like Tiara, just to be safe. You could sacrifice a supporter or you could use a, a defender like me. All right. Okay, as you can see, very tanky. That's why I brought a tiara with me. Okay, I needed 3 hits for my Dekka. Again, if you guys don't feel confident, feel free to buff your Dekka, okay? Even Arena's buff is gonna be significant better than no buffs at all. So we're gonna apply the same concept. Okay, they are actually tankier. Okay, just have a tiara protecting you. Carlson works as well, just to prevent yourself from, from screwing over. Now, if you don't have Dekka, things like Briton could work as well. Okay, if you feel confident, you can bring a Briton. Bring a buff if you don't feel confident, okay? Okay, this next stage is going to be annoying. Again, this crystal thing have very annoying aura. Okay, so minus 20% each, so minus 40%. Okay, we can easily bypass that by just using something like charcoal like we have done earlier so you could use charcoal top or you could use something like Lydia as well so why Lydia because Lydia has the ability to deal additional damage to warriors okay so you can place Lydia here but it's very risky if you don't have supporter again this they have the aura okay so you have to bring a supporter you know what let's just revive Qwik so that way you don't bring too much supporter you have Qwik taking care of the front Qwik will buff Lydia at the same time. Okay, so your Qwik will serve two purpose. Trade with this trumpet guy and then buffing Lydia at the same time. If you don't feel confident with these guys, again, you can always bring a 3-star tank. They tend to last longer. Okay, so we're going to use two fodders, one Qwik, one Rosa, and a Lydia. Okay, surprisingly, Rosa didn't wasn't able to tank at all. So you could have placed one more fodder just right there, I think. And everything should be fine. Okay, so we got ourselves the Legend Merc Reset Scroll. Now notice, I haven't used any legendaries so far. Alright, if you follow my guide till now, I don't think I've used any legendaries. A couple of 5 stars here and there. Okay. Have I used... Maybe I've used one 5 star so far. I, think, I remember using Dalvi. But that's about it. So, we still have plenty of stages, we're going to have plenty of time to use them. So don't worry, now let's move on to the boss stage. Uh, don't underestimate the boss right here, and I'm going to try to give you guys as much alternative as I can. First things first, if you follow my live stream, the one that I did an 8 hour live stream on trying out Gate of Chaos, if you follow that stream, you saw that I used Livia for this stage. Livia can literally solo the entire stage. Okay, but my Livia was plus 15. Alright, I just want to put that out there. So Livia plus 15 definitely can do it. I'm not sure if your Livia is very low in skill level, like plus 0 or plus 1 or plus 3. Can she do it or not? Uh, I highly doubt it, but you can try. It's worth risking because if you can solo the entire stage with just Livia, right? It's super helpful. Alright, just put Livia on top. Just bam, go in she will be able to get rid of every single enemy for you. Now, if you don't have Livia, this is where it gets tricky. This is where it gets difficult. There are a couple of options. And the best method is gonna involve Seto. Okay, 
if you don't have Seto, I mean you brought it upon yourself. I mean like why do you put Belia from the Jumpstart quest? <laughs> I can't help you man. Hopefully you have Livia. But I, I really don't know, like this is quite challenging to not use either Livia or Seto. Okay, why is this stage so hard? Number one, you have this boss magician right here, Organon. So what this boss does is he will give ally supporters, he will give you supporters the ability to basically attack your own allies. So if your supporters receive this blessing from him, when your supporters support your warriors or defenders, it will deal this amount of damage, which is crazy. Also, you will be able to get, uh, you will get stunned as well, which is very annoying. Okay, so he also have this skill, which is permanent healing prohibition aura. So this aura counts as a debuff. Okay, this will enable this frog guys to instantly kill any 100% defense you have. If I place Dalvi here, this dude will not do anything to me, but once the frog guy comes in, because his skill is based on enemy's debuff, Dalvi dies. So very annoying. So there are a couple of ways to approach this. He's quite hard to reach, okay? You can't really reach him. You can see he's like super well protected. You can't use Lumila to snipe him. So what you want to do is, hopefully, you can go with something like Dalvi middle, right? And then, my advice is using Yunram to snipe the top. Okay, so you can do something like this. Lutmila might be a better option because this frog guy is really tanky. If you don't have a plus 15 Yunrang or whatever, even I am not really confident with my Yunrang. So we're gonna bring Naresa and I will bring Ebony. Okay? So what's the purpose of Jacqueline right there? If you don't put anyone there, when this magician comes, everybody will get hit. But if you put Jacqueline here, only Jacqueline will get hit, right? We're gonna do it like that. Okay, so Ebony might die early on, but it's okay. So I'm using quite a lot of units, but again, even then, I still don't feel confident compared to just using Livia. Like, seriously. Because of how hard this can be. Okay. I'm gonna explain again. The strat here is we're gonna use enemy goes first. This guy hits me. I will go 1, 2, 3. Hopefully, this kills the frog. So, Benshina's purpose, uh, Dalvi's purpose is to get rid of this front too, right? So that Seto can go in and hit the boss. If you don't wanna use Dalvi, you can use Xenon bottom. Instead of Jacqueline, hit this guy so that Seto can go in and hit the boss again super risky now remember the one that you want to be careful of is the frog guys these are the guys that will basically one shot you let's go show you guys if this strat will work or will it fail so can Yunrang do this this frog guy can be quite tanky all right Yunrang was able to do it lucky me okay Dalvi can do it Okay, so Seto cannot one-shot the boss as you can see, it's fine. Oh shoot, totally forgot about the taunt from Benjina. I forgot that the boss... Okay, it didn't... <laughs> okay, it didn't really go according to plan but it still works. So you want to use a tank that is not Benjina, that doesn't have taunt, because the boss cannot taunt. I mean the boss doesn't ignore taunt, I totally forgot about that. Because you are so used to all the enemies having ignore taunt, except for the boss and the Spartan guys. But the strat works anyways, okay? It looks like it's fine. Uh, I guess you could remove Jacqueline, that's, if that's the case, you don't really need Jacqueline, so we just wasted Jacqueline right there. So you could remove him. Alright, looks like the strat works. Regardless, with that being said, we're gonna go bottom. So guess who we're gonna use? Who we're gonna revive? Yes, my favorite. I'm gonna use Bran. So Bran is gonna be super helpful right here. Can help you solo the stage. Okay, so very easy. I'm gonna place him top, right? And then you're gonna bring total of two fodders. One right here. One right here. Or you can bring three, just to be safe. Alright, overkill. That was overkill. I just wanted to be secure. That was a bit overkill. Uh, one fodder is enough. Okay, next, we're gonna go down this path. Okay, this gets super interesting. Look at this. So this one, they are weaker than the previous one. Previous one has 1800 health, I think. Now they have 600. So they are definitely way weaker. You don't need brand anymore. So we're gonna use two magicians. Okay, 
So you could use Charlotte for the back. Okay, Charlotte will hit the back. That's going to be a very good option. And then for the front, you could use something like Bruno. Okay, so Bruno can go in. You don't really need supporters. Uh, it's a bit scary because the crystals are here. But if you have decent runes on them, okay, don't have to have amazing runes like my rune is nothing spectacular right here. But if you're scared, just go for two assault and it should work. You want a 3x3 three three tile mercenary that hits back in a cross or X tile, okay? And then a front that hit cross tile. There are plenty of options. Just look around your magicians. If you don't have, just play around with what you have. Okay, if you need to use 5 star like Anubis for example. Anubis is skip. So I think we want to go for Bruno first. Bruno has to be the first to go. You know, I always like to be cautious, alright? Just want to be safe, just in case. I mean, these are just fodders. Don't have to be too worried about their usage rate and stuff. Here comes the first one. Bam. Can Bruno do it? Yes. Charlotte? Yes. Okay, let's get our 4 star mug reset scroll. Let's move on. Next. Aha! Again, this is pretty straightforward. You could use, okay, this is something that I, we could think of magicians, right? But if you want to be safe, this is going to be slightly better, okay? You could use Octavia. Now, Octavia, she's probably going to be safer than all the other magicians. The reason why is because she has very high base attack. So Octavia has very high space attack. So you don't need plus 10 for her. Even a plus 1 awaken could work. Just put two assault runes, and then just put one more fodder, right? So the fodder is because when we suicide, we don't want to like trade or something and then register us as a, as a loss. So Octavia goes in. Look at that, 6,000 damage. You probably won't ever use Octavia later on, so using her now is a very good choice. Please don't use Coret or Gunter because there's a chance that we're going to use them later on. Okay, so this one, again, we can go for Decker, okay, if you want to. We can go for Anastasia. Anastasia is a bit too, too good to be used right here, since they only have 600 health. Now we could use a Skip Cross Tile, okay, Skip Cross Tile, Aggeron, Lucrezia, or Magnus, okay. So all three of these will work just fine, okay. So I've tried Lucrezia in my 8-hour livestream before, I believe. So in this case, maybe I'll demonstrate... Magnus. Okay, so again, don't worry too much. You don't have to have a plus 10, okay? Plus 0 will definitely work. As long as you awaken him, okay? Just give him some decent runes. I'm gonna give him this. This this rune looks OP. CCC, triple C. So this guy is skip. Again, if you want, you can use Aggeron, like I show you. Or you could use Lucrezia. Since these mages will probably never get their usage later on. So just use them right now, you know. Magnus, baby. Alright, last stage. Okay, so this one is gonna be really interesting. So you see this big cross tile right here. Alright, you just want to find a mage that hits back and is a big cross tile. Okay, so hopefully you guys have plenty of 4 star mage decked up. Now the first unit that comes to mind is Wester. Okay, so Wester will definitely work. So another option is Kyle. Okay, so that's what I did for this particular stage. I remember using Kyle. Okay, so you want to use Kyle like this. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and revive our Rich Net, Skip Tile, and maybe revive Arianes as well. So the reason why is because there's two pillars right there. Again, this will give you Aura, Stats Weakening. Okay, so let me show you my runes on Carl, just in case you guys want to make a comparison. There. Okay, so go for 2 Assault if you want to be safe. I'll be placing one more fodder right here. So any fodder will work, this guy. Let's look at the power of Kyle right here. Okay, so the frog guy did survive one initial hit. Very strong, very strong. Okay, maybe we need to use three fodders. Looks like this frog guy is pretty strong. Oh 
my god, RichNet actually struggling. <laughs> okay, alright, looks like RichNet alone could not do it. Okay, you could use a RichNet and a Lydia. Okay, I believe we, we do have a Lydia somewhere here. Alright, hopefully you guys don't make the same mistake. Make sure you guys just... I just want to use Arrhenius again just to be secured, alright? Just to make sure it's safe. Okay, so regardless, because after this stage you'll be getting some bonus scrolls. We actually didn't waste much units actually, so gonna get more 5 star 9 scrolls right there. So now we will have our ability to use even more 5 stars moving forward. Okay, so I think that sums it up for this video. I will end it right here. So we are still at chapter 2 but I will split it into part 1 and part 2. I don't want to make the video too long. It's going to be quite hard to edit later. So yeah, again, as always, we're going to use the comment section if you guys need help with something that you don't think you have or you need replacement, let me know in the comments below. I'll try my best to assist you guys. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. If you follow the guide so far, okay, you're going to have plenty of scrolls. So no worries right there. So we're going to be able to stack them up. Only one 5 star you so far, no legendaries. So we should be pretty secure to reach the end. I have confidence. As always, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, Give this video a like if you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.